Hi guys, I'm Lily Partridge and I am a British marathon runner for Adidas um, and this is a sort of a series that I do um, before every run um, just to wake the hips and lower legs up um, and just get them ready to, ready to run. Lie down with your knees bent, your feet on the floor. Arms down along your sides. Take a deep breath in. A slow breath out. Ready to warm up your lower legs and hips with Lily. Just a few moments to arrive here now. Hug your right knee into your chest. Point and flex the foot a couple of times. Find your breathing, inhaling to point, exhaling to flex. And then you'll circle the foot a few times. Ease into the ankle a bit more. Change directions. And then flexing the foot, take the right thigh further over to the right, pressing your right hip away from your right shoulder as you bring the shin across your body. Catch the foot with your left hand and rock it side to side a few times. Ease into your right hip while keeping your right side long. Maintain the space between your right shoulder and your right hip so that we're truly easing into the hip rather than just side bending through the spine. Breathing deeply. Find a spot that feels like a stretch but isn't a lot of work. Pause there, take a deep breath. And release. Pausing to feel the difference. And then left knee into the chest point and flex the foot a couple of times. Ease in there. So we slowly start to circle the ankle and change directions. We slowly start to work into the lower leg, the calf, Achilles, ankle, foot, and then taking the left thigh further to the left, bring the shin across the body, catch the left foot with your right hand. Check that you still have the nice long space down the left side of your waist. Rock it side to side a couple of times. As you ease into the hip, continue to think about moving your left hip away from your left shoulder so that you're clear that you're easing into the hip rather than side bending through your spine. Eventually come to stillness taking a deep breath there and knee back into the chest, set the foot down, pausing to feel both sides. And then bring the heels a little closer to you, your butt and press down through the feet, lift the hips high. Long diagonal line from the knees to the shoulders. Really get a sense of push off through the lower portion of your glutes activating through the glutes a little bit here, creating a little bit of stability, ultimately working to find the balance of mobility and stability through the hips. And then you'll lift the left heel high and press it down slowly. Right heel high, press it down slowly as if there's resistance to work through. Keep marching the heels side to side very slowly while you keep your hips high and level so we work into the lower legs, the feet again, while your glutes are giving you that sense of lift and push off. And we start to kind of connect the dots between the foundation, our feet, our lower legs, up into the glutes, into the hips, which is so critical when we run. Strong fluid foundation strong fluid powerhouse, the glutes, and then eventually heels down. Slowly lower your hips, 
and you'll take the feet as wide as your mat. If you're working on a mat, otherwise feet just real wide, drop the thighs together. It makes a triangle shape. And you might see if you can even take the feet a little further apart. And you'll separate the knees and drop them over to the left. Look to your right. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, thighs right, look left. Inhaling to lift and exhaling to twist. Bring that sense of fluidity back into the hips. So this routine really helps us to kind of kind of get mobile in areas that not only stiffen up from running, but also just overnight. So this is a great way to just wake up and warm up. And gently moving outside of your usual range of running motion, which is super beneficial for maintaining fluidity through your hips. And then eventually coming up to center and you'll make your way up to sit and come onto all four shoulders over the wrist, hips are over the knees, spine neutral, extend your right leg long, tuck the toes under and push back through the heel, lengthening the whole back of the leg, feel into the foot, calf, Achilles, and then rock your weight forward and back. Gently pumping the calf. helping to draw more circulation into very dense musculature. And then push back through the heel and stay, bend the knee a little more, straighten the leg, bend and extend. So you're still pushing back through the heel, you're just bending and extending the leg, which just gets us a little bit deeper into the musculature of the calf. All right, and then bring the knee down, switch sides right, left leg long, toes tuck, push back through the heel, Rock forward and back a couple of times. Breathing deeply. And then push back and stay. You'll bend and extend the left leg a few times. It can be pretty small. It's subtle, but it works just a little bit deeper, a little bit different into the calf, which is really kind of a tricky area to stretch. And then eventually left knee comes down. You'll flip the calves over to your left side and then take your hips back toward your heels. Bring it forward, flip the calves, the shins over to your right, take the hips back. Find your breathing now, inhale forward, exhale switch and take it back. Keep that going so that the thigh bones are rotating in your hips here. There's no rotation through the knees. You can always pad your knees if you're finding this uncomfortable. So the whole leg, all the joints are just along for the ride. Feel for the rotation of the top of your thigh bone in your hip joints. It's very similar to what we did lying on our back, just a different perspective, slightly more aggressive. Finding that sense of fluidity. This also helps us to lengthen and wake up the spine a little bit and then eventually come back to center. Toes tucked under, reach back and pull all of your toes forward, even your little baby toes, even if they don't wanna stay, that's okay. Just pull them forward anyways. And then walk your hands forward a bit, push back through the hips, take your hips back toward your heels as if you're pushing your mat away from you. Stay there or walk your hands up onto your thighs, lengthening your spine tall, and really giving your weight back and down to your feet. If that's too much, bring your hands back down to the floor, working into the feet. Great way to wake up the feet, great preventative medicine for your feet. And really use your breathing to manage the intensity of the stretch in the same way that you use your breathing to manage the intensity of your run, of your workout, stay with it. And then eventually the hands will come back down, untuck the toes and give the feet a little pat, which should feel nice after doing that. Just moving the feet in the opposite direction. And then tuck the toes under, walk your hands back to your legs and come on up to stand. Feet hips width apart, that's about two fists. 
even balanced standing. Pausing to feel your feet. Hands to your hips. Now float your heels high. And even as you lift your heels and activate the calves, see if you can feel your glutes working as well. Might take a lot of focus to get them turned on as well. Try to find it and then bring the heels down, bring them back up. So feel the calves, but feel the glutes as well. Make that connection between your foundation, lower legs, feet, and your glutes. Heels come down, lift up and lower. Lift up and lower. Move with your breathing, inhale up, exhale down. Keep the glutes turned on as you work here. Just a small bend through the knees. Take your time. This pumping action is a great way to draw circulation into the calves. And then the heels come down, bend the knees coming into a squat. Keep the shins as vertical as possible. Really take your hips back in space. And then the arms along your sides, spine long, back of your neck long. Try to lift your heels high here and then lower them down. Lift high, lower down while you're in this small squat setup. Keep moving with your breath, lifting and lowering. So we start to activate some of the other muscles of the legs. Start to wake up the quads a little bit more. We're getting everything ready to run. We're waking up the core a little more. Now the arms will reach out overhead, lift up a bit and then swing the arms back. Lift up, swing the arms back into your squat. So we're staying down there the whole time. We're just kind of lifting and lowering. And each time you swing the arms back, really feel into your glutes as if you're taking your weight back a little more. You can almost imagine like a kind of downhill ski push off movement. Nice and fluid. Feeling balanced across your feet as you work here. Smooth arm swings, breathing deeply. Eventually rise to stand, arms out and down. Lift your left leg up, circle the foot. Give it a little shake, shake the whole leg out. And then right leg up, circle the foot a couple of times. Change in directions, give the whole thing a good shake, shake it out and you are ready to run. Feel the difference. Well done.